Hello everybody and welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well and enjoying my other videos. So we'll be continuing with our previous lesson. And previous lesson we have seen how to design a tab and also we have a single tab style. And on our today class, what we'll be going to do is uh, uh, action pen. Let me show you what is action pen actually. Okay, let me click my all cells order. Okay, so on the top you can see here. This is an action pen. Okay, you can see lot of button, right? Lot of button over here. In the action pen, what we can set is all our action like save. Uh, new delete uh, you want to open another form all this kind of action we can set with our action pen and uh, usually it's also what we can call as a toolbar uh, toolbar uh, if you have used a visual studio or some other kind of design uh, ID then uh, you have none of the uh, toolbar so in X what we call it as an action pen where we can set our various action pan and what we have is a action pan and you have an action pan tab these are the action pan tab okay so inside the action pan tab you can see here you have a group which is separated by a, uh, a small bar okay so these are a group so this is one group, this is one group, and this is one group. So you have you can create a multiple group of and put your uh, command button or your button or menu button on a one group. So let's say here you have. Let me uh, remove this line first. Okay, so you have one group over here, right? This is one group, and inside this one group, what you can uh, see over here is a new uh, cell service. All these are new, and they give a caption as a new, right? And you have another group over here, and this group is maintained. So, maintain you have edit, cancel, delete, like, and another group you have is the payment and you have a payment and another one is in copy like that you can have a multiple group so each accent accent tab have its uh, own group a uh, button group what we call as so uh let's just go and see how we can uh, actually create and implement this on our form uh, let's go to our design and our form from design in this design right click and say the new control and we'll go to action pan okay let's create an action pan it is our action pan okay, our top level action pan and inside this action pan what we have to create is a action tab and a, a button group all right so let's go over here inside this our action pan what we have to create is action pan tab which is by default you get a one action pen tab and also one button group okay so inside this button group you don't have any any button now so just right click and we create a new button okay new button and we give this uh, button name as a new tab okay so the action button group or the button group also we give a caption as a new okay so save it after save it okay now restore it and open it okay now you can see you have a one action pen tab and also one button and one button group okay so we will create another button group over here okay 
and let's just rename this one our action pen tab okay so if you go over here you have a sales order sales manage right okay so go back to our form design and the design view we'll go and add our sorry okay let's go and add a new action pen tab okay for this action tablet we move down on first down arrow and the caption let me give as uh, edit and for this one i will give a caption as new okay so inside this action pen tab we have a one button group and we you will give this name as a uh, edit to and uh, inside this one we will give create a one button and we will name this as a edit okay so save this one restore it and open it okay now we have a two action pen tab one is new this is a button and this is a button group name or a caption and this is a edit tab and we have new button edit and also a button group edit so let's add another group a few group over here one two three and also one uh, just for our test okay set our design uh, let's go and our action pen tab inside the action pen tab let us create a new button group button group and move it uh, down up and down arrow and we will give this uh, caption as test okay so don't worry why i'm giving this it's just to show you actually how it works so create a new button and we give a name as test two okay so inside this action pen tab again we will create a new button group and we we'll move it down and give a caption as test two and inside this we will create a new button and the button place also we give a test two okay so let's just save it and restore and open it okay now we have a two action pen tab with a two button code. and we have a two button okay Okay, just don't worry that uh, when we click a new button nothing is happening and when we click uh, add a test uh, there's uh, nothing happening so what actually we have to do is for this we have to override some of the code on the method okay let's go to here and i will show you where to override it on our button and the button here here is a method so you can uh, Override the method like click the uh, other click copy context like code. So these are the method that you can override it and add your own code. So if you when you override the code click, so what when you click at the button, so what is actually going to do? So this uh, will be looking on when we are actually went to a coding site on uh, X plus plus so uh, for now we are just creating a button okay hope you guys understand this one for now we are not uh, assigning any code or we are not writing any method because uh, now we are on a designing part so when you actually jump into the coding part that is an x plus plus so we will uh, write some code and, and override some method for the button okay Okay, for now you just don't worry and we have another button which is a command button that will actually do all the things for us so actually you don't have to write a 
put on the Google Analytics side. Okay, so let me open it and see how our actually button look like. Okay, button go. Okay, now what we see over here is uh, we have a uh, two button and here is a two button. So it's a total four button. But to add a four button, we are using a lot of space over here. You actually see we are using a lot of space over here, right? This is a big space and your form is when when below by it and yeah so what we can actually do it if we have a just few button like two three four or five so you can just add a small small uh, uh, accent pen right so not not need to create a so big and uh, and use up uh, your form space so what we'll do now is we will create a small uh, smaller accent pen what we call as a uh, stripe Okay, so will be a smaller something up to our height here. So let's just go and see how to actually add this to our design. Okay, so in the action pen tab, when you click over here, uh, you can see what we can see over here is a style. Okay, here is style. Can see over here style okay so what we're going to do is by default it's a standard style is standard and standard means and uh, just now what we have this is a standard right so now what we'll do is uh, we'll change this style to a uh, strip okay so a strip is a smaller uh, in size and uh, you can just add a few buttons on it so let's just go and save our design and uh, restore it and we will open it okay now you can see here we have uh, just two button new and test right so this is how the uh, um, strap action pen actually look like so if you have a few buttons just you can add add it to your design but if you have a multiple design you have a multiple button right so at the time you can go for a standard action pen here inside the action pen we have a two action pen but the uh, uh, stripe doesn't support a uh, multiple tab right so we have to use on this one also and move this one to here save up and uh, restore it we'll be opening it so we have a total four button one two three four four button so just now what um, we have to move our action pen tab because in a stripe action pen we cannot have a multiple tab okay so you can either delete it or you can just keep it uh, that's up to you so guys uh, i think you enjoyed this video and we'll be continuing with this video on our next lesson and we'll go and create uh, some of the command button that we can use like uh, create new save delete and uh, export to excel or something we can come and use this uh, command button so uh, till then, uh, thanks and thank you for watching.